Missing, I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back from my people. I pray I was waiting for fame. I'm finna turn up and get a ass a taste. I thought taste. I was global, they screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. Way. All right. So let us know who we got on the Chicago way today. YFG, man. Uh, YFG first off. YFG Gino. Hey, I am looking, man. Yeah. You have to grab a drink. <laughs> you got YFG chop or a drink, whatever you want to call. All right, man. Yeah. How you boys doing? We decent. Chilling. Mm hmm. Can't yeah, complain. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, remind me y'all ages. I'm 18. I'm 16. I'm oh, 15. I'm 18. Hmm. You know some? I'm 20. <laughs> and pretty much every rapper I've been around so far has been over the age of 18. But yeah. this is the first time we got. I would like to say the youth and the next generation of rappers coming up. Would y'all like to say so? Yeah, we already have. Oh, for now. Mm. Yeah, we, you know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we already have. Of course. Now, y'all could have been on DJ You, you could have been on 16 Show, you could have been on True Teller, Camp Capone, or anywhere else, but y'all fuck with the way. So, I appreciate y'all for stepping by. Not that. Well, allow me to pull up since I really pulled over y'all. Yeah, you fucking with us. Yeah, for sure. I said the cup, but... Alright, now, let's get started. Now this is a question that everybody from Chicago asks a new new person when they see someone they they just now met. Where you from, nigga? I know you. Mm, so, so you know. Off of Eagle 67 to 88. 88 for Prince. We are, uh, uh, for Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call it Alvin Gresham. You call it what? We call it Alvin Gresham. Like Chow, Chow. Chow, Chow. All right. Well, aside from Lil King being from Englewood, y'all still say y'all from the same place, right? Yeah, yeah. we all brothers. We all what? Of course, unity. Now, um, how was the going on for y'all? Well, it was actually, fun. Yeah, I, ain't gonna lie. It was I was fun. like it was fun. We did <laughs> a lot of stuff early, like. Literally. We got to do a lot of stuff early. We did a lot of fun yeah. stuff early that we weren't even really supposed to be doing. Yeah, yeah we did a lot of <laughs> stuff that we wanted to do at a young age. So y'all say y'all was bad kids growing up? No. I wouldn't doing? necessarily say bad, bad, but we was sneaky. I ain't like sneaky. sneaky. Yeah. We were yeah. just like, nah, bad. Sneaky, huh? Huh? Give me the we was just doing a lot of stuff without okay. getting caught. If we ain't get caught, then it ain't bad. It ain't being bad. Who got caught the most? <laughs> I was getting caught, but I was getting in trouble for what they was doing, though. What they do? Yeah. Man. I'm 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 i am i am i am i am i don't get caught. Now another thing, of course, since everyone's at least eighteen or younger, would y'all say y'all still got some growing up to do? Yeah. 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 We all got growing up to do. Still, still growing, still progressing, still learning. Mm. Now what about the ones who's already older? Would you say they still got growing up even though they're grown? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody do. Yeah, for sure. And I'm glad you mentioned that because nowadays <laughs> in today's generation or in today's media, we see a lot of grown men twice your age, but still try to live life as if they're the same age as you. So, do you feel like there need to be a change in mentality? We just look at them like foolish. Oh. Basically, you look yeah. foolish if you're doing that. All right, go piece. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like, at any age, I ain't gonna just say that. At that age, you supposed to be focused on getting money, really, because at any age, you supposed to be focused on getting money, but awesome. at 30 plus, any of that game, you shouldn't really Somebody be in the twice streets, our age. They online, should be having kids, all, that, all, that, all types of be real about You should be yeah. trying to make a family, put stuff in play for your family, you know? Mm. You, you got really? responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you got all the responsibilities in the world, you that age. You shouldn't want to be standing on no block. You shouldn't want to be arguing with teenagers. You know, online. Do it, just, you know. 40 years old, still posted up to my gang. What you want? Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. And, 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 the and this is just for, we just put this in the sense of anybody who's older. But what about the rappers that's 30 plus? But yet they still rap and drill. 
Ch- uh, chase your dreams. Uh-huh. If that's what you want to do. That's what's making you money. Oh God, that's, that's what's, what's you know. Like that's, oh. that's different. That's different. Oh, that's like different. you making, yeah, you making yeah, yeah, a yeah. living off of like you, you know, you making bread from that. You, you know. Mm. Yeah. Besides just mm. you are sitting man. on the block, beefing online, just like you, like you 15, 16, like you know, and you thirty right. something years old. That ain't it. All right, all right, man. So it's different. So. As long as you rapping about it, but just making an artist living out of that, you can keep going with this. But if you're look, if you've been in it, like and, and like you know for a long time, like you know, all right, it's ain't you ain't in the streets no more. You you rapping about it still though, like you know, mm-hmm. you that's cool. About you, like, it, you know, it's just your experience in life, like, oh bro. All right, really now I'm gonna hit you with a little twist here. Now there's another. He called. He likes to look at himself as an entertainer, but. I, I, I like to be respectful and call him a rapper, but there's a rapper who did an interview with no jump by the name of Corporate. He also spoke on the same topic you spoke, you're speaking on now, and mm-hmm. he said he, there's nothing wrong with being a drill rapper and making it out because that's what you're supposed to do in everything. But you're a drill rapper and you consistently put out drill, you are quote unquote putting batteries in the backs of mindless people who are still trying to, you know, figure out their way of life, but. Overall, what he's trying to say is, if you're at this age, you're still doing this, and you made it out, you living good at this day, not you're make you're in a way making it worse. So, would you say when you make it from drill music that you should eventually change it up? Yeah, we already changed our music up. Like we, I, I started changing my music. Right, up we right don't when consider I was young, ourselves like, as drill rappers. Yeah, we versatile for real. I'm glad you said that. I was going to talk about that yeah. in a minute, but since we speak on it. Y'all say y'all versatile, right? Yeah. Yeah. What type of music about y'all sells do y'all promote the most? We don't. I um, promote like. I promote everything. Like, like, everything. I promote awesome. love songs for the females. I promote mm-hmm. songs for the guys. Songs for people in pain, like everything, like you know. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything. All kind. All kind. All right. What's your favorite? Okay. What's a favorite song by you that you made that's not a drill song? Me. Yeah, it can be out on release, wherever, wherever you prefer. It's on release. All right, babe. It's, it's called Even. Wait, I'm, I'm tweaking. Hold on a second. I put this camera up a little bit. I ain't even get you. All right, but uh, what you say? What's it called? It's called Even. It's on release, though. All right, babe. Uh, I don't got no favorite songs of myself. Yeah, I don't think I got no favorite song of myself. Oh, I probably yeah. need drugs or something. Mm. I don't got one. Chop? Nope. I don't even got one either. <laughs> So, uh, other people judge my Oh, you let you prefer the opinion of others? I'm trying to think though. Yeah. Mm. I am. I don't I don't know. 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 See, I'm not even hot. I'm already tweaking. But the rest, the rest of our YF, YFG brothers, you the only one who can consider, consider having a favorite song for yourself. So um, no, I just, I like it. I feel like I'm talking about I'm talking about more stuff, and I switch it up basically. Like I ain't mm. talking about stuff I usually talk about. Oh, so because you're able to talk about different topics, it's like this one specific topic you speak of hits harder for you. Yeah, no, it's not hard. Like, we, I do anything like any beat, any type of freestyle. Like, All right. Anything. But it just, it's that one percent song. I don't know, I just like it the most. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, out of all the videos y'all, y'all, put, y'all have put out so far, which song have you received the most feedback from? Lee. It, hmm? Lee. I'm glad you mentioned that because I was going <laughs> to say that. But what about the rest of y'all? Uh, like, as of right now? As of right now, or back then, however you want to put it. Uh, right now, in and out, and then for back then, I would say go go. Okay, right I agree with go go. Ain't gonna lie, for me, it's a song that's on release. It's called Just Dance. Damn, you already getting feedback? Yeah, yeah. they leaking our songs, man. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We talking about our release? Oh. We talking about like our release? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't care. Just Dance. A no. Cheetah's favorite no. song. No. Late no. Night no. Miami. Yeah, Late Night yeah. Miami. Yeah. Late Night Miami. Late Night Miami. They definitely leaking all our music. We ain't said no more up. Don't yeah, ask. Yeah, I was about to no, say. No, no don't more. ask. Look, Do ask you, no if, you, if you slide up, you set yourself no up for failure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so since we got since we got the troublemakers leaking music, could y'all say a guess on who's doing it? Nah. Nah. 
Yeah. Everybody, it it, yeah, it like bounced no off of like everybody like. I know, boy. One person turned to ten people. Oh, <laughs> they <laughs> send those songs. Hey, y'all from Fifth City? Don't send to nobody. Shit, now they getting that. Right, I got looking. I got looking music for offering to send to you. Don't send it to nobody, <laughs> folks. Oh, Next person saying the same thing. It's just like, mm. you know. <laughs> I know who you is, boy. <laughs> From the sound, from the sound of it, man. So you want to put folks on blast? You know who you is, but <laughs> you know who you we ain't gonna say on that. We ain't gonna put. You oh, y'all want to put them on front street? <laughs> nah, man. All right, man. We are gonna keep it in the trench. All right, man. With that being said, as far as your music overall, you would say this is. You would say it's for everybody, including the 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 little kid kids. Uh. Depending on the song. Oh, depending on the song. All right. So we ain't little kid kids no more. But ain't gonna lie, ain't gonna lie. All the little kids love late though. Like. All right, all right, all right. There. Go ahead, clap it up, cause you don't really got a lot of people saying they got kids listening to your music nowadays. Everybody aims to have. Everybody aims to have a mature crowd audience and shit like that. So it's but. A little cheat code, which I've been told before, that mm -hmm. if the kids fuck with it, that's gonna force the parents to fuck with it too. So it's mm -hmm. like, if rappers keep trying to go for mature audience and shit, it's gonna be more of a challenge and shit. So what's stop y'all from making a YMG shuffle? Bop to the left, bop <laughs> to the right. Like, come on. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. We just, we just be three people with like. We just gotta be on yeah. to let the kids rock with it. Yeah, yeah like yeah. That's, mm. that's what I deal with late. Like, I ain't gonna lie, another nigga really made the, the actual song. It's cool. I, I, I remixed it though, like, eh. ain't gonna lie. Tone, my brother, he don't want to tell me to drop it because I don't want to go drop it. I shot it on my birthday. Mm. My uncle was telling me too. He passed away though a couple months ago. But on the phone, hey, he, he was telling me though, like, yeah, that's the one. This one, this one gonna blow. It said 400 right now. 400K. Yeah, 400K plus. We said before it even dropped. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we said before it even dropped. I ain't gonna cap. I was in school, man. Videos were doing 100 for. Hey, four times that. Before we did 100. Before we did 100. We were just watching it go up. Before we even dropped it, we were saying it was going to do it. We were saying, 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 we a cow, Ben's flat pad, they playing late. <laughs> My mama know they get that, they playing your song, fool. You walked up to the car? <laughs> nah, they were driving past. They ain't, uh, they ain't thought they were just driving past. Sound like they was at a red light for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But, uh, all, all, overall, you, you, if everyone's comfortable with making a song for the kids, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, aside from you, because we already know you are, Lil' King. Yeah. yeah. No shade, no shade. In case, <laughs> case y'all look at it that way. Just Nah, I don't know. Yeah, that little picture there. But all right, now let's get some. Let's get some cracking. Now, one one thing about you guys I've like, always noticed: y'all love vlogs. <laughs> nah, no, you, I don't you, love vlogs. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. I don't really be doing vlogs. You don't? I be in front of the camera sometimes, but they don't be like, I don't do vlogs. Vlog. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to start interviews, but... Gino, 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 Still though, it was, you be vlogging and shit. The last video festival. Yeah, I know I be in front of the camera. The video he just said he was vlogging, folks. That's how the be like. I call the camera. Yeah, right. We just got a homie that be in front of the video. And he loves stuff in front of the camera. Nah, I'm in front of the camera. You do it in front of everybody's camera. I call Nunu. You gon' be in front of Nunu. I call him. You gon' be in front of his camera. That's my vlog. Oh my god. He he <laughs> mm. Is he, he like vlogging or he just want to see? He love the camera. Yeah. Well, even though y'all don't like vlogs, y'all still are willing to do them. I ain't gonna say I don't like vlogs. I, like I ain't, them, ain't like... got no problem. We just oh, we, don't, okay. we don't do them all. Okay. Well, for the ones you did, they they get a great response. So like nowadays, they say rappers need to do vlogging just to show their personalities and shit like that. 
But that may not be everyone's reason for doing them. What's y'all reason? That's the reason. So like they can see you That's on the man. outside of right. So they can, so they can like get a better perspective on you know on, on how we come type stuff. Of course. Cause they might have drill. Cause y'all just say they might listen they, to our music and just think, think we want like. Mm. I think you just bad. See, I'm glad you said that. Might not be bad. And then they might have good good music like that's fuck kids and stuff. And think you sweet and you not. Mm. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was about to, I was about to say for every one of y'all to be as young as y'all are, and y'all make music for mature audiences. Do they happen to use that music and try to paint a picture of you? And when I say that, I mean try to put you in a negative limelight. Like this is who you are, and this is what you're set out to be in the future. Yeah, nah. sometimes. Sometimes yeah. though. Cause Cause I, I, had, I had sometimes. a couple. I had yeah. a couple family Yeah, I just gonna like, say it'd be, it be people that's around. That, that, that Even your own family or friends, shit. Yeah. Not your friends, cause your friends, 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 your friends, your friends, your friends, friends doing, doing the same thing. Right? Oh, okay. yeah. It's like I, motherfuckers had a couple family members who like, they just, oh uh, nah, he he out here doing shit. He, you know, he bad. He, you know. Hmm. Okay. Who gets who gets the? Should I call it? Yeah, I'm gonna call it discipline because that's what it really is. So, who gets the most discipline for family when it comes to come doing shit like that? <laughs> Me, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, you? Yeah. And you're it the one who made this no kid. It don't be no real discipline type stuff. Like, I ain't gonna let mama that's come off phone off. So, oh, I don't want to come off phone off. Yeah. But, I'll be cool though, as long as I'm on the Wi Fi. You know, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. But overall, you would say y'all have supportive families, right? Yeah. 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 And uh one thing that previous rappers before y'all in their time when they were y'all age rapping and shit like that, they understand it's safe to say y'all y'all the life that you guys no no the, the life that Aaron like to say you guys live based on music is true, right? Wait, what'd you say? Say it again. Mm -hmm. Would y'all live do y'all live the life that y'all rap about? Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, that's cap. Everything goes <laughs> Oh that oh that's a lot. Nah. Well, everything is cap for me. We'll we'll come back to that. Well, cause he be on a he be on a lot of look he be on a lot of. I don't know. Oh, he be whooping. His music. I don't be on his music. That's what I'm saying. All my but music. But me, I make all type of shit. So. Let's all right, all right. So 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 they really can't say what you live or you don't live, right? Yeah, I, like, I make all type of shit like. <laughs> all right. Love songs from the females, everything. All right, bet. Well, well then we'll put it in a hypothetical situation. Hypothetically, you live the life that any rapper before you has lived as with. Now, one thing that those rappers always talked about is how when they was living their life, the most pain that they had to endure was the pain they caused on their mothers. Because it's a lot that comes with it. So, but the, but look where they at now. They're doing big. And on top of it, the mother's very proud of them. So, for, for y'all to still be growing this, how often do you have to show your mother that, yo, this this is me, but at the same time, it's not going to be what you think it will be. I ain't going to lie, like, I don't, I don't really call my mom pain, because she actually, she knows what's going on. I talk right. to my mama. I don't yeah. lie to my If you mama. let your mama know what's going on, then, she, you feel me? She got the heads up already. She already right, on point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to let your OG know what's going on. You, got, you, can't, you can't leave your OG in the blind. I'm bro. I'm from yeah, and I say, <clears throat> and the reason I brought this up because a viral moment on Say Cheese, a rapper by the name of Fulio, said that there's a, there's a lot of parents who don't understand the life that their child's living. So if you're if you're if you're someone who is doing X, Y, and Z, you need to tell your mother this. And a lot of people feel like he was crazy for saying that, but from what y'all saying, y'all agree with his statement. Yeah. Yeah. Now, cause cause you know how people like. Say when somebody dying then they OG be, they OG always be getting on news stuff. Say they was the goodest kid ever. But they, right. He ain't doing no. He went to school. They ain't school. never did no. He did was go to school. He was a good kid. The whole time he was a real killer. But behind her <laughs> back he doing something else. This man, you feel me? Mm. That don't mean nothing, bro. That's how your mama supposed to represent you. I yeah, I was, I was okay, just about to ask, <laughs> and I was just about to ask. Even if, even if, like, like let's say that, let's say. They supposedly do live the life that they rap, but they're not all the way what the what the internet want to portray them to be. Should their mother still lie for them, in in a sense? Yeah. 
Mm. So regardless if it's true or false, a mother's supposed to defend their child no matter what the no situation what. is. Yeah. Mm. 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 I like your answer. I, no, like in all seriousness, though, I like your answer. Why, why you like his answer? Because I'm pretty sure that's the same thing the rest of y'all feel. And on top of that, I know for a fact that I want my mother to always speak highly of me, no matter what I did, mm -hmm. even if I'm wrong. Yeah, for sure. That's why I like the answer. You, you feel like you feel like that answer is the wrong answer to like? No, no, no. But why? But what? <laughs> he don't even know what he's talking about. Yeah, I was to say, put your old ass, but that's a good thing. I, I, I'm going to turn the next question. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right, now. Okay, get it out, folks. All right, now. Uh, Y'all want to know something funny that I'll be doing? Yeah, my phone. Oh, All right, now. Uh, <clears throat> In regards to me, first off, it's two people that's on the Chicago wave. Mm -hmm. And, of course, for all the rappers we post, behind closed doors, we do talk about rappers. Mm -hmm. And y'all are one of our favorite people to talk about. You want to know why? Why? Because this is something me and him are currently debating on. We believe that you got YFG mm -hmm. could be the next FBG. And we say that because... First off, before before you get to saying why y'all don't why y'all don't agree, let me explain myself here. I say that because from what the FBG brothers was telling me, FBG is a rap group. But when it comes down to them, you don't necessarily see as a rap as as a rap group because you don't always see them collabing with each other. You don't always see them like making albums, FBG albums with each other. Like they don't really do what a supposedly rap group is. But when it comes down to y'all. We see a lot of collaboration. We see a lot of, of course, they support each other. But we see like two times that. So it's safe to say, in our eyes, YFG is a rap group. Yeah. Yeah. So, as far as rap, but as far as the rap group, when it ain't it, just no rap group because we oh, got yeah, brothers yeah. that ba they play basketball and all types exactly. of stuff. Exactly. So it's mean? just like YFG yeah. is just us, oh, bro. Mm. That's all it is. It's just us. It's just um, uh -huh. all our brothers. All right, so that's just so so why she says an overall family thing yeah, versus yeah, rap family thing. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. and there goes my next question. I was gonna I was gonna ask since when it comes to rap groups, they always like to point out the star of the group. So and for FBG, it was duh. Uh -huh. And if the fans were to point out a star of YFG, who would they say? We don't, 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 don't even know. Right, you gotta let them. <laughs> we don't know. Everybody's style. Like, they could talk about in the Everybody, gonna, a lot of people gonna say a lot of different stuff. A lot of people like each one of us specifically. Like, yeah. they like, you know, mm -hmm. somebody probably mess with his music. His music. Because we all go like, places. You, know? you might have somebody yeah. just, you might have somebody walk up to only looking, or you mm -hmm. might have somebody walk up to only me. Like, today on phone, a dude just asked me, can he get a picture with me? He walked up to me, asked me for a picture. Mm. And then we at the park. Somebody walk out, hey, ah, oh, you fell a little. Mm. You know, like they be just. It depends on it depends on the person, I guess. But in our eyes, we don't think it's a star. Oh, bro, we all doing the same thing for the same reason. We trying to okay. make boy. With that being said, if the fans was to try to put someone over uh, over the next person, y'all wouldn't let no fans break that up. No, nah, nah, they can do what they do. Cause I yeah. won't. If he gonna, if he gonna make it first, or if he gonna make it first, or he make it first, Either it's way, still gonna help. It's gonna, oh, it's all gonna help all of us. It's gonna help like, all of us. All right, cool. Cause we still gonna be behind the scenes anyway. Mm -hmm. Not even behind the scenes. We gonna be yeah. on the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. We gonna have <laughs> exactly. the same thing. We it's all gonna, gonna be around the same stuff. Yeah. So like, if you get him rich first, we just gonna, you know, we finna. Now we all finna still do the same thing if he got rich first. Now one of us finna, you know. Yeah. We gonna, even if it happens slowly, like one by one, everybody gonna make yeah. way. It's make gonna happen for everybody. Yeah. I say that because nowadays the fans like to supposedly make rappers beef with each other, but mm -hmm. it's for you guys, y'all don't let that happen. So, no. which, so I salute y'all for that. No, like we don't, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got too much stuff. Like, really. if you hear we. Nah, you get Nah. Fans and supporters is fans and supporters for a reason. We gotta keep hey, proud of beef. Yeah, fans and supporters. Anyway. Literally. <laughs> sure. Speaking on speaking on Chicago being, <laughs> I don't even know about that. So only Chicago people should talk about Chicago business. Yeah. Ain't hey, last half you. Yeah. Mm, I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same. Yeah. And yeah, so no need to elaborate. All right. Damn, I'm skipping. Damn, y'all doing good. Like y'all answer a question before I even ask them. 
Damn. All right. Now a question I didn't ask y'all. As far as YFG, in case we still haven't talked about it yet, what does it stand for? It's not for Young Fly Guys. Hmm? Young Fly it's Guys. It's Young Fly Guys. But look, it's like a group that we created as shorties. Mm -hmm. mm. But we ain't get older on no... Oh, it sounds childish, yeah, so we're we gonna, gonna change, change the name. Oh, that's we what we created. It like that that's shorties, like that's that what we wanted. Time. So that's what we gonna keep as we get older. We already kind of had a post sound. Yeah, nobody. we done already turned it to a brand. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. this is about what you sound. Whose idea was it? Uh, he ain't even here right now. It, it, it was two people, but one one of them not here right now. His, okay. name, his name is Speedy. So who's the one that is here? Alright. Hey. So clearly you saw the vision that how 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 long ago was this? Like how old was you? <laughs> Damn, you don't remember? We were super young. That's what matters. We were super young. We was, super young. We was young while well, we were still going to trends downtown. Oh, we still at parties. Yeah. We Markle young. day. Uh, well, <laughs> we was that young. It was Markle day. He was like. It was Markham and MLK day. Oh, well, MLK day. Yeah. No, MLK days. Back like, when everybody used to go to the ring. Oh, okay. I'm about to say Martin Luther King days. But, uh,. O overall, y'all had a dream and y'all turned into a vision that everyone else could see. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And clearly that vision is, is pretty shiny, don't you say? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. You 18, right? What you, what you think, yeah. Yeah, right, baby, baby. 18 with a chain. What I think about uh, YFG? Yeah. yeah. What's your opinion on that? I love it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, outside, outside of the... Okay, forget that I... Told y'all how I'm comparing y'all to another rap group and anything. Y'all breaking it down, but overall I love it. It's like the next generation of rappers doing something that I always be trying to tell motherfuckers come as a group because nowadays in Chicago we don't see a lot of people trying to be a group no more. Like people be under, people be looking at the Migos like they crazy for being a group sometimes, but the, look at what they at. And if y'all do the same thing they do but better, y'all gonna be y'all might set a trend for Chicago and then you might see everyone else want to be rap groups and everything. And on top of that, y'all represent the youth right now. Yeah. Y'all yeah, would say y'all represent the youth, right? Yeah. yeah. Both. Every, we represent. Right. Our, well, it's not even we represent his music for. Hmm. So. All right. Now, uh, as far as the music, was there anyone prior to y'all that did influence y'all start rapping? Or is it strictly just each other? I ain't gonna lie. He was rapping before all of you got uh, Pops, Chuck Lane. Lil' King was rapping as a shorty. I was rapping. Ain't a lot of my Pops. And my, my Pops is Lil. But my uncle really taught me how to rap. Like, mm. he wrote he wrote me like three, three, four songs when I was little. Probably more than that. Oh, I was about five years old. When I got to like 12, I just started writing my own song. Started just doing me. Mm. I used to write my, write my songs. Then we used to shoot a video to it. Mm. I ain't even used to want to be a rapper at first. You didn't? No. <laughs> and, and <laughs> I ain't even want to rap at first. And clearly you don't regret rap, rapping now, right? Uh, As you I, should just, I just started back. Mm. Oh, you Man, just started? You want to drop it for yeah, a little I just stopped dropping for a little minute. Mm. But, but, I'm, but I'm back now. Well... To get on to that statement that you just made, I was just about to tell you, for what the world world may look at as upcoming, y'all y'all do great, decent numbers. For, no, no, not decent. Y'all do great numbers as far as music. Like, y'all see the views y'all do. So, people say that when it comes to the rappers, their motivation is based on the numbers they get on the songs. Would y'all agree? Or it's no, deeper than just no. numbers? No, we be dropped on based no, on how we feel. Like, you feel I ain't, ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie, I didn't even really know, know my numbers. song was at 400 k till like a week ago when I checked it on Instagram. I'm tweaking YouTube. Mm. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't be checking my views or none of that. I don't check no views. Mm. Alright. I'll check you. Alright, I'll get back to you fast up. Gino, uh, yeah, Chop, check. Check The King, why y'all don't care about views because... It's just like... I don't know. I ain't gonna say I don't care about views. Cause I care about my little 400 views, 400,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, I don't, I don't just tell myself, check your views. Like, I just 
Check them whenever I go watch the video or something. Mm. But overall, it's not easy getting those views because we still got rappers who can't even get to 1K nowadays. So it's yeah. like, y'all do y'all do applaud yourself for being able to achieve those, yeah, right? I, yeah, I applaud myself, but my brothers gonna be giving me a lot of feedback on my music. So mm. if they don't, if they know it ain't we. Yeah, I'm a they give honest feedback because yeah. some and they get honest nah, feedback. Nah, we go real though. Like, I ain't gonna lie, they ain't never came to me with a weak song, and, mm. and they ain't never came to them with a song, and they were like, nah, this ain't it. They just like, I lost old girl. Yeah, and I'm glad you said it because nowadays we got homies who be lying to their homies, and I get why, <laughs> but come on, man. Even I'm gonna keep it honest with y'all. I can't even name a time that we really had to see it. Nah, I'm just bro. Nah, like literally, every time we post something, send me this right yeah, now. Why you ain't send me this yet? 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 Why you ain't send me I had to get on your ass real quick. But now that we got that, now that I don't ask them. You're someone who always, you say always care about views? Yeah. I don't check them like every day. But when I do check them, they matter. And why do it matter to you? Because you got to have a fan base. If you just drop it, ain't nobody watching it. What's the point? And make them smile. You see the progression. Mm. That, that's what it is. Yeah, for sure. But you put... And of course you applaud yourself, clearly, because you do do good numbers. But, like, do you say a number a number of uh, views that an artist gets on a song determines what type the type of fan base that an artist have? Uh, Not just for you, but anybody. Yeah. Because, damn, yeah, it depends on your fan base, like, they rocking with you, or if it's just that one song. Or, like, oh, Mm -hmm. I didn't that. That's probably your, your first drill song. That's probably the first song you ever dropped. They got the most views. Now everybody look at you as a drill rapper. That was your first they song you dropped. For real, for real. Then they That's gonna the watch song every they song you drop. Mm. All right, bet. Now to, to finalize that, rappers who pay for views. <laughs> and when I say pay for views, I don't mean literally doing them YouTube ads. I mean literally, I don't know how, but paying to make this song say X amount of views when it's really this the truth behind it. Mm -hmm. Is that a bad? Is that a bad thing to like pay to have it look like this? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now, what about YouTube ads? YouTube, I don't even know how to do none of that, so I can't. Yeah. Need and I don't think you, I don't think I don't you, YouTube ads. YouTube ads ad not bad. Yeah, YouTube ads not That's bad. That's basically like promoting you know, yourself. Yeah, you know. Before anybody click on the video, they gonna see you. Mm. So. Oh, but overall, y'all would say to be a rapper, you need to be comfortable with having an organic fan base, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, of course, because a lot of a lot of rappers is not comfortable with that. Now, uh, wait, wait. Did we speak on who influenced y'all? Yeah. How did, I, how did I miss? Okay, any any specific Chicago rappers who influenced y'all? <laughs> my pops. Oh, specific. Oh, yeah. yeah. Other than my pops, like. So no other rapper from Chicago who made a name for themselves for Foolish Shop. My pops. All right, man. Then with that being said. <laughs> and Chief Key for me. Okay, Chief. Salsa for you. Yeah, Salsa for me too. All right. Well, I ain't gonna lie though. Vaughn used to be my favorite rapper. I'm from them. <laughs> All right. I don't even listen to them no more though. I don't know why. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's rappers and the rap that's raw. Good. That made it like. Even learn them like they raw, but they ain't making me start rapping. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, I've been rapping before I even knew who Chief and Dirk them was. Mm. Oh, mostly they say it's okay to to give another rapper their flowers for influence y'all to rap because at the end of the day, it really isn't a competition. Y'all don't see yourself in competition with nobody, right? No. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, it's, and it's okay. To, it's okay if you're not influenced by another rapper, but just because you're not influenced by another rapper to, to be rapping, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing, right? Yeah. yeah. It ain't like, a bad I thing. Like we listen of, to them. Yeah, I like a. I like yeah. a lot of artists' music. We like. We listen yeah, to a lot of artists from the right, like right. right, but they ain't influence us. All right. Hey, music just good. Yeah, they got, they make good music. And mm -hmm. we listen to it every day. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you really, I ain't gonna lie, I don't bump nobody here. I only bump us here today. We were, that's what I was uh, 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 I was about we, to say. We bumping it? us and watch you be fat. Yeah, but regardless if it's Chicago or not, is there anyone y'all do but YGB fit? But that's the thing though, like, I don't bump him in. Well, I don't bump him in. They don't. I bump folks. Mm -hmm. I don't bump him in. They, bro, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, he definitely in my pocket, so. Mm -hmm. So you gonna hear him, like, but I don't bump him in. All right. Now, look, King, you say your pops been fooling you. Um, for those who. For, for those who may want to know, who is your pops? He in the hood, save. He was a rapper too. Mm. He died in 2010. Oh, that, how old was you at the time? I was like two. Oh, damn. <laughs> but, uh, first of all, sorry, sorry for your loss. No. And, uh, to be, do you, you may not have much of a memory of him, but you got influenced off him based off his music. No, I got one specific memory. I ain't gonna lie. The only thing I remember. He had like a little video suit on, on, on the block where he from, 68 for True. He had, it was in the alley though, but he was like, he was on top of the building. I asked my grandma and them and all that, they told me like, yeah, that's true. Cause I wanted to know, but on, bro, he was on top of the building. He was trying to have them bring me up that day. was like, nah, he too high. So they ain't let me get up. <laughs> I was about to ask, did he, did he put you in that video? Nah, ain't been none in this video. I think my brother did though. Mm. No, nah, he wasn't in this video. And you said um, earlier that your uncle wrote your first five, three, four, wait. He wrote four, a couple songs. Oh, a couple songs. All right, man. My first song I ever dropped, it was Look King, Look What Happened. Mm. <laughs> Look What Happened. Yeah. yeah. Well, but overall, as far as your, as far as your father, um, outside of just being influenced by him to be rapping, is there anything that he that he may have did that taught you, taught you something? Like, is there anything you learned from him? Yeah, basically, like, the way I look at it, me, I'm I'm chasing the same dream he chasing, like, all he talked about was getting his family out to do it, and that's what I'm trying to do. Hmm. Oh, all my people, everybody I call my brother, everybody, like, okay. I don't want to leave nobody behind. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure that y'all y'all agree with that message, right? Yeah. As y'all should. Oh, I'll leave some niggas behind. I just, <laughs> I just, I just, I just <laughs> See me, I rock with everybody. Ain't nobody that don't rock with for real. So it's like, hey, yo, fuck up. Yeah, you know? I'll leave some niggas behind, boy. Alright, bet. They ain't even with me right now, so it ain't really like they get left behind. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you leave me behind, it won't one of your real yeah, members. So. so it's like, it everybody with me coming. It ain't even leaving them behind. Everybody that's with me coming. Alright, the ones that's really that come. Yeah, the one that's really there. All right, uh, gonna switch gears up on y'all for a second, y'all. First off, did y'all y'all don't take time to watch interviews, don't y'all? Like interviews. Nah, I do. We do watch interviews. Did you see any interviews I did or we did? No, I don't think so. Oh no. All right. Oh, I, I want to know. Folks. All right, man. Well, as far as the Chicago wave, when it comes down to interviews, and we've been doing it for three months, we literally learned this shit. And one thing we learned that sometimes when it comes down to interviews. Rappers be bored just sitting down answering questions, which is why they might smoke or get drunk to keep themselves active and not fall asleep during the interview and shit. Mm -hmm. But we want our interviews to be fun and shit, right? Yeah. Which is why we got this thing called segments. And this is and these are questions that everybody can ask and answer, but it should be entertaining. So, <laughs> y'all ready for our first? Y'all ready for the first segment? Yeah, who's going first? No, no, hold on. This is something every one of y'all can answer. All right. If y'all want to. All right, man. All right, first segment, I like to call this Cairo's Logic. And shout out to No Limit Cairo because he's the influence on this shit. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all are aware of Cairo. Yeah. But he did an interview with 16 Shot. And guess what he said in the interview? What? He said there are only three rappers that he know of that live the life that they rap about. And that's King Vaughn, Lizzie Osama, and FBG Duck. And the reason why, because he heard quote unquote gangster stories about them. <laughs> now, in, in regards to Cairo, he may he may look at y'all and be like, what's to these little niggas? So, do y'all guys have a quote unquote gangster story that y'all like to tell him that's not that's non-incriminating? We rappers. Think what you we want about us. We had fun yeah, back then. Right. 
We not playing I ain't got nothing to say like, to nobody who <laughs> is exactly. around me. I don't care what nobody <laughs> think what you want. And this is coming from people who's younger than eight, 18 and younger. Yeah. You know, Kyra twice your age. If, 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 I, if I know the, that's the problem right there. That's the first problem. Story. Twice our age, we're about teenagers. That's the first problem. Gangster story. Wrong. If you ain't nobody like Gucci them who signed to somebody, you shouldn't even be real about no teenager. Mm. You should be real about yourself. Focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. Then with that being said, even though y'all not gangsters, what is your definition of a gangster? If there's even a definition for this shit. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. I know, know that somebody that's gonna stand on business. Yeah. You that's gotta, a gangster. Somebody that's gonna stand on their word. You stand on what you somebody say. Somebody who, who ain't gonna fold when it's about to be. Who ain't gonna fold about what they, what they saying. Who ain't gonna fold what they talking about. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You ain't really, you ain't gotta be about it in the internet. Just be about it in real life. Be about it in real life. Mm. So you don't need no internet validation to be a gangster. No. That's not a gangster. Doing internet is not a gangster. Doing anything in the internet that's not a gangster. Letting the internet. Make you think you tough, get you an IG killer. Mm. <laughs> and pretty and pretty clearly, y'all don't support those. No. All right, y'all ready for y'all next segment? Mm -hmm. And this segment is more of a game, really. So y'all mm -hmm. y'all should y'all should enjoy this. Now, in this first off, before I get to the segment, would you rather do your research or would you rather do your homework? <laughs> what you say? He said, "When I write do my <laughs> research, I'm doing my homework. homework. I'm doing my research." <laughs> All right, pass up. I'm doing my homework. All right, chop. <laughs> my research. All right, <laughs> key. Damn. Two, two y'all do two, two y'all say homework. Nah, I said research. Oh, you said research? Ah, oh, oh, man. <laughs> so the majority wins, pass up. So everybody doing some research today. Now, with that being mm -hmm. said. This segment I like to call a little Reese's Research. Shout out to Reese. <laughs> Grim Reaper. Now, when it comes to Lil Reese, he does interviews. And in those interviews, this nigga don't know shit. And, and anytime someone asks him a question, he'd be like, damn, I don't know. I, I got some research in that shit. Damn. You said, oh my God. Like, that's literally what he said every damn time. He said, just like him, folks. So. But it did. <laughs> but it <didn't> switched bodies. <laughs> so it came. Like. But uh, overall, I don't think we should get on Lil Reese for not knowing shit because uh, he might not know shit for real. For him. I, I, I think that's what the, what he's supposed to do. Exactly. But the thing is, I think he probably, I think he probably be forgetting. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But the thing is, Lil Reese ain't the only one who don't know shit. Yeah. So, to my knowledge, y'all niggas probably don't know shit either. No, we don't know nothing. Which is why, in this segment, we gonna see if you need to learn a little something, something. So, that's why, in this segment, Lil Reese's Research, I'm gonna ask you a question about various topics. You do not have to elaborate on these topics if you don't want to. But, mm -hmm. for these topics, all you have to do is just say, if you don't know them, I gotta do my research. But if you know it, I, I, I know that shit. Mm -hmm. So, y'all wanna find out if y'all gotta do some research or not? Mm -hmm. Alright, bet. Brick Youngster says to squash beef with his ops, they have to pay him for a verse, but in this verse, he is allowed to disrespect as many of their dead homies as he wants to, and they have to sit back and take it. I don't yeah, know. I'm doing my research. I'm doing my research. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no. What about you, Chuck? I gotta do my research. <laughs> you did. They, they, boy, if they do that feature. Bro, I, I gotta do my research. <laughs> I gotta do some research. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right after this interview. All right, say less. Let's see if you got some more shit you wanna do. All right, next one. Crip Max said in an interview with Cam Capone that he wants to eat Blazing Dogs coochie and asshole. <laughs> That's that dude. Yeah. Ain't that's that dude with the like tattoo uh, uh, the, the, the big yeah, crap thing yeah, with the ball here, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. I wait, that's how I do. Crip Mac, that movie. dude on that he be on TikTok on phone. Yeah. <laughs> I sent this video seen this from TikTok video. to Instagram. Mm. I don't have to do my research, but I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm doing my research. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know nothing about that either. Alright, bet. Next one. Snap Dog said in the interview that Kayla B was trying to talk to him and he almost had her. I seen that. You seen that? Yeah, I seen that. What about the rest of y'all? I had to do some research on oh, bro. I ain't never seen about that. that. Mm -hmm. You gotta do a lot of research. I ain't never seen none of this. <laughs> <No. laughs> Alright. 
Next one. FYBJ Main said recently that he believes that he is a bigger star than FBG Duck. I don't know nothing about that. Y'all got the research, don't you? Y'all do my research. I ain't even gonna do no research. I ain't. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that to them. <laughs> <laughs> gonna fall out of that. All right, next one. Mimo Honey got his new veneers. Then he, then he went to Instagram saying, I'm finna go bite the King Drive sign. <laughs> 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 what the I don't know nothing about that. I gotta do my research. I don't know nothing about that. I heard about that. Oh, you heard about that? <laughs> Damn, shout out to the only one who know. Y'all got I ain't about that. Y'all no, 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 gotta keep up with Chuck. Y'all gotta keep up with Chuck. He know more than you. Which is the whole point of this segment here. He I, say long as he don't come bite the French to say. Long as he don't come munching on us. Bite. Eat, eat. All right, next one. King Lil J said. He wants the fans to run up 300k on his GoFundMe, and if they do, he's going to take a lot of tested tests addressed in all the gay rumors. How he in jail? I guess the GoFundMe gonna bail him out for it. Yeah. Why he can't bail himself out for it? Damn. He's mm. broke, dude. <laughs> See me that's thinking right now. That's what's going on. He uh, probably broke. GoFundMe need. I'm gonna have to do my research. Well, you don't know, no, no, I don't no, know nothing about that either, though. I ain't gonna lie. But he probably just need him. Who knows? But I don't. Mm. Alright, two more. Two more. Mm -hmm. Ari Fletcher says that G Herbo still be quote unquote saying things that shows uh, he's still trying I to fuck her. About that. Oh, you know about that? I know about that. I don't. I don't, I don't, know. Know. I don't know nothing, I don't know nothing about, about that. that. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. I just saw that literally like yesterday. You saw that yesterday? Yeah, when she was with the Carisha Please stuff. So. It hit different. She she was on that. <laughs> she was just on that literally. Look, he he did it. He did all. his he research all already. <laughs> he did it all. I did my he own. He already did his research. He can't prepare. All right, and last one. Instagram blogger by the name of Squid Eight pulled up in Old Block and met Mona Ike and many more. He a vlogger now. He a blog. Well, I mean, he might he he did say he might do some vlog slash interviews. So I think so, probably. I'm gonna have to do my research. I gotta do my research. Yeah, I gotta do my research. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Squid <laughs> Eight. Alright. With that being said, y'all need to do some research, gang. Y'all ain't keeping up with what's going on. We keep up with each other. We don't be exactly. keeping right. up with each other. They ain't got nothing to do with us. They ain't put no money in they our pocket. All the questions you ask really got stuff to do with the other side of the bridge. Yeah. 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 This is just strictly entertainment purposes here. Yeah, we ain't gonna, 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 yeah. gonna talk about these situations yeah, if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't about no that. Situation. It's just like we just, it's I just, really we, just don't know. I just, know that. right. I just yeah. yeah. on, it's I okay. keep tabs on the people that surround me. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's okay, but you know, it's always that one viral moment that, that everybody just gotta see. So, yeah. 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 That's yeah. the whole point. I ain't really like seen none of that. What you gonna have to go viral. That ain't viral enough. All we right. gonna see it in the day well, two. Yeah. It's gonna pop up on our Instagram feed. We probably gonna see it. We probably it. seen it already. Scroll past. Right? Watch after this interview. We probably we scroll on Instagram and see it. My phone's listening. Mm -hmm. right. I'm gonna see it on my Instagram. All right. That's your key. Your call phone's back, bro. Mm -hmm. With that being said, this is a nice little game here. Did y'all enjoy it? It was decent. Yeah, it was decent. Play another game. Yeah. We don't want to get back to the questions. Hello. <laughs> It's, your, it's up to you. You the nah, interview. Nah, this y'all interview. I want to make sure this is smooth as possible for y'all. Nah, we let you. We gonna let you take the direction yeah. of the like questions again. We just gonna mm -hmm. answer we the gonna, question and take control of the like, conversation and the topic. Uh huh. We just gonna let you choose uh -huh. what we doing though. You know. Well, we overall. What you say? Well, well overall. Uh, uh, should we wait for the look here? Are you good? All right, bet. Well. Oh, overall, I heard Chai say he want to play another game. So since Chai said it, we going to go with it. Yeah, you might as well wait on him now. Hold on. All right, bet, 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 bet. You see it? So Chai said he want to play another game. So since we playing another game here, this is a session that I like to call the on BD session. And I'm not promoting anything just so y'all know. So do not take that too serious. But I love you, man. For sure. But uh, 
Lil Reese did interview and that his viral moment, I, I think y'all may have seen when he hit that. Huh. Y'all mm -hmm. yeah, seen that part? Yeah, I researched yeah. that. All right, great. Now, this one is going to be different, though. Instead of doing research, we're going to really see if y'all know about this shit, but from what y'all saying, y'all might not. But I believe y'all might know a little something, something about what's going on here. So, I'm going to ask you if these are true or false questions. So, if they're, if they're false, hit me with that thumbs down, just so you know. But if you know about it, just say true. I'll tell you, I'll tell you if you're right or not. Alright, ready? Yeah. yeah. Lil Uzi shouted out No Limit Cairo in a song titled That's a Rap. I ain't never heard no, so I'm gonna do that. I ain't gonna say who BD because that sounds like something he'll do. And you don't gotta say that. Like yeah, like I don't something. know. Be per like I really don't know. Like I don't, I don't listen like to like that. But I ain't never heard it. So I'm just gonna put thumbs down. Thumbs down. Well, overall, y'all right, that shit is false. He shouted him out in the song called Sangu in Paradise, though. Uh, Coop yeah. 150 called Cairo. That's what he said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now I remember that one. Oh, you remember? <laughs> now, that, I, I can yeah, remember that song. Yeah, for sure. That, that used to be my shit, man. Like, yeah. Oh, and fun <laughs> fact, he, he invited Cairo to the video <laughs> shoot, too. But he didn't get a chance to pull up. So hey, Cairo be bumping that for mm -hmm. I don't care. Sangu in Paradise. Sangu. Oh, that. You had the other song that Miami. Some song he had that was wrong. You can't keep. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, for sure. Alright. D Money Big Do It claims that he got his quote unquote lick back after FBG Bigger slapped him on camera for make him and made him say sorry for dissing his hood and their friends three years ago. True or false? I don't know. I ain't about seen that. that. I ain't seen no video like that. Say it again. I don't, I don't even know who. D Money claims that he got his lick back after FBG Bigger slapped him on camera, making him say, I'm sorry for dissing him. D money, big dude, the nigga on Facebook, funny Instagram, dude. shit. Funny dude, oh, uh, yeah, you talking about? Oh, wait, who smacked him? FBG bigger. There's a video where he he supposedly caught him. When he nigga, he had a blue shirt yeah. and folks was walking. Oh, he smacked, smacked him, him over. Yeah, black folks. He ain't smack him back. He did. He said he got his lip back out there. Is that true or false? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But my ass, I don't think he did. I bet. Well, to our knowledge. We don't know if he got his lip yeah, back, but he, but it is true that he said it in an interview with. Wait, what's what's that nigga name? You know, uh, uh, forgive me. Oh, uh, live from the trenches. Like he he did an interview claiming he did, but nobody believed him. Who was live from the trenches on the couch TV? No, no, uh, no, 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 no. Is that nigga who be in the trenches? Oh, no, I know who he's talking, uh, he talking about. Yeah, yeah, doing live and shit. Yeah, is it his profile picture? Yeah, yeah, I know who he's talking. About. Yeah, My own, sure. I ain't gonna lie. I don't believe that. Like that. I, yeah. I don't believe that. Because <laughs> if you would have did something, you would have did it right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he like to record, why I ain't record it. Oh, bro. <laughs> he do. He do like to record. Oh, that nigga blocked me, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he blocked me from posting that video again. <laughs> yeah. He, he said yeah. he, probably, he probably was embarrassed. He said he said it and it was skimbo. After he smacked him and walked off, he felt embarrassed. And, <laughs> and when I posted that he said, man. yeah. You a grown man and you can you know, slap I'll be embarrassed too. Yeah, he and the thing is he was he ain't lying about it. He said Everybody it. seen it already though, so yeah, yeah, he true. went viral. Oh bro. Super viral. He hit that. <laughs> Y'all can't see it on camera. Alright, next one. King Gill and Rico Rec was never squashed beef after Rico consistently disrespected the FBG duck. True or false? I don't know. Oh, Cause they said they pushing peace. Oh, bro. So I don't know. And, and guess what? That is false. They are pushing peace, and they did squash beef with each other. Mm. Who squashed beef? Rico Records and King Yellow. Mm. Mm. They must ain't never heard nobody on each other's side. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Mm. All right, next one. Rico Reckless says Swag De Niro, Mimos is Hunted, Tay Sav, and Ruga are rappers who need to get back for their blood brothers in the streets versus rapping on a microphone. Hey, that sounds like something he'll say. Wait, go again. What's that? He Rico said Rekles. Swag De Niro, Mimos is Hunted, Tay Sav, and Ruga have blood brothers who died in the streets, but they need to get back for them instead of rapping on microphones. Honestly, everybody you just said, I really don't need to listen to. I was just gonna tell you, I'm Bro, not even gonna talk about it. Like, this, this is true or false. Uh, this is true or false. Don't talk about the situation. This is true or false. That's probably true. true. That sounds like something he'd say. Yeah, he'd be tweaking. Don't he got a song he diss like, 
Everybody for him. Him up. That's L. Like B. J. May for. No, that's, <laughs> that's Rico. That's Rico Reggie. Right. Oh, J. May do be dead used to this. Yeah, he he claims he changed. Man, he said he changed though. For he changed. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's yeah. It is true. Rico said that in the interview, and all oh, oh, three of them got on his ass about that shit. Who was the other one that didn't get on? Mimo. <laughs> Mimo. Puerto Rico, Mimo trying to ignore the shit out of him. He blocked him. <laughs> All right, next one. Tay Savage told Adam22 from No Jumper to his face that he be letting anybody get on his platform and his value going down because of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that's, that's true. true. Yeah, he did. I ain't going to lie. Back that. when he first was coming out, it was, like, I used to always watch him. Man, I used like, to want to go do an interview with him. Like, man, he had anybody like, get on an interview with him. He, like, people probably like, you It's know, like he desperate to be in, in, in somebody else's business. Like, he, he, trying to have, he trying to be in the drum. Mm. So, overall, nobody wants to know Jumper in No. Well, I'm thankful. I do. I do want to. Hang on, we'll do a no jumper video. We'll do an interview with no jumper if he comes to that type of stuff. But okay. we ain't that eager to do it because it's like really everybody. Cause he ain't making it as big as it used to be. It's just, uh, it's just, it's not what it is. It's not what it's made out to be. So it's just for it's us. It's not what it is no more. We not looking at it as ah oh, oh, yeah, we finna find a no jumper video. We just looking at it as a bigger platform. Yeah, that's how we're gonna take it for a push for mm. us, for people to get to know most people. Oh, and overall, y'all y'all agree with Tay Savage, but y'all still don't mind doing it. So that's a good thing. Because I, I want that exposure for y'all. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Adam. He followed me. All right, next one. Glorilla blocked Skinbone, and he tried to get Mellow Bucks to tell her to unblock him. <laughs> Glorilla, the rapper, blocked Skinbone, blocked, Skinbone. blocked Skinbone, and he tried to get Mellow Bucks to tell her to unblock him. That ain't happening. He a comedian, so that's how like he's probably a comedian. Well, that is false about the mellow part, but she definitely did block his ass because he did a couple of skits about her and she felt offended by it. He went live complaining about it and all. She went live. No, he went live. He went live complaining about her blocking him. He said he was going to invite her to his birthday party to perform and everything, but I was sure if I say how you found out he was blocked. He must have just clicked on He did his research. Yeah, he did his research. He lied about he posted. He lied about he I can't see this post. I'm phone up. All right, next one. Spider D says female rappers are only good for rapping about sucking dick and shaking ass. I don't know, man. I don't know. Nah, so it depends on who it is. Because I, I, I know some female rappers who don't talk about none of that. I, I do agree with that statement. But is it true that he said that? No, it's a lot of them. It's a handful of them. I do kind of agree with what he said, though. Oh, you agree with what he said? Like, it's sort of, sort of. Depending okay. on who it is. Okay, yeah, just depending on who, who it is. is. Everybody different. Of, everybody mind different. So some people might not be able to rap about other stuff other than that. Okay. Well, it is true that he said that. All right, next one. Two more, actually. Mm -hmm. Corporate was in a McDonald's by No Limits Hood, and No Limit was getting ready to jump him 10 deep. Three months ago. Probably. You put a time frame on it. I was just gonna say. Oh, you okay. put a time yeah. frame on you made. Oh, okay, y'all. Y'all saw me trying to fuck y'all right now. Okay, so that's probably. All right, all right, all right. That shit yeah. definitely false. That shit yeah, definitely false. <laughs> you saw, you saw through that shit, didn't you, Paso? I ain't but it was like three months ago. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't three months ago. This was a couple years ago. Yeah. They tried to jump. They were finna get on his ass. Like years before he got famous and shit, cause they yeah. thought his videos was goofy. But, but clearly, they you see Kairos in them videos, so I'm pretty sure No Limit supports him at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just been a whoop. <laughs> yeah, they, they was they was they was to get on his ass about that shit. But then, Twelve come through and they like everybody bail out. According to corporate, but he said this interview in the interview. Was, I mean, he said this story in the interview with Sixteen Shadows. So yeah, you can do your homework on that if you want to. Said do your research. Alright, last one. MAF Tiski is miss is missing the finger oh, yeah, on his left true. hand. That's true. That's true. On his left hand? No, 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 no. It's on, on his right, right hand. hand. I think. No, his oh, right no, hand. Oh, I don't know which oh, hand no. it is. <laughs> I don't know what finger it is. I, I know, know he's missing the finger. And though. it's this finger right here. I know he's missing the finger though. Mm -hmm. Bro. Yeah, I saw that corporate it's video, didn't you? Right here. I know he's missing the finger though. Told his ass bro had ET hands. 
Corbin's yeah, right hand though. So it's he not in the Corbin video. No, yeah, right he was in his. It's his right hand though. Yeah, yeah, it's his right hand. I was about to tell y'all fucking up. It wasn't his left hand, but that. But he I said it's his right hand. Oh, so you was right, y'all yeah. fucked it up. Man. I ain't know. Yeah, but yeah, but he definitely is missing the finger though. Yeah, I know he was missing what, the what finger. What video though. he in with Corbin? I ain't even see that video. That's why I ain't know. Man, what? I used to watch I Corbin. Know, I ain't been watching Corbin. Damn, well, you can't you can't be sleeping. It's a new Corbin. video. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me pull this up. It's a specific okay. video. It's like two videos ago. I gotta go do my research. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I never knew he was missing the finger. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, I, mean, he, I didn't notice that shit either. Look, but ain't no to everybody start posting. I see that. I, I, yeah, I never, someone yeah, I on never Facebook noticed, talking about I, this. I, I started, started paying attention big. in the videos and then I seen like, bro. yeah, his finger really gone. Yeah, like they was not kidding. I'm like, damn, they got my boy <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> then I then I tried looking for the support shit. I couldn't figure out which hand it was. So corporate dropped Black Chicago be like part one on six, and he showed clearly it was the right hand. If I interview TC, I'm going to get the story on that shit, because I want to know. <laughs> but all right. Mm -hmm. Now, uh... I need that backstory. Yeah. Got to build that finger, though. Yeah. They, they claim, supposedly, he got his finger shot off. But I don't mm. know. Yeah, because it, it, it couldn't necessarily possibly be that. It's, it's possible. There's other ways to lose a finger. Yeah, yeah. he could have been born like that. Mm-hmm. For sure. But overall, though, we're done with that, and y'all, y'all know a little something, something about the world. But it's, st it's still good to still keep it tuned with yourselves, though. So mm -hmm. y'all don't be too deep into the internet. So that's a, so that's a good thing. All right, mm -hmm. one one hour and two minutes mm -hmm. in, guys. How y'all feeling? We chilling, man. I'm glad y'all is. I ain't even know. I ain't even know it was that long. Getting a little more. It's, it's how many? What? How it's, many? it's been one hour and two minutes, my guy. Yeah. yeah, so far, I and I still got a nice amount of questions for y'all. Uh, come on, let's do it. All right, man. Now, now, back to the question. No more games until further notice. All right. Now, this question is specifically for you, Chop. <laughs> you looked up so quick. Yeah. All right, man. So, uh, what other titles you got besides rapping, Chop? Uh, I don't know. I used to. Mm -hmm. I used to know how to dance. What about acting? <laughs> yeah, I used to be acting too. Mm -hmm. I still, I, I don't do it no more. But like, I do it if uh, BMF want me to come play. Oh, for BMF. All right, bet, bet, bet. <laughs> and I fuck with me, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like no, no, no kids. Y'all fuck with me, so I got huge respect for the man. But you wanna know something? I think yeah. I've seen you somewhere on my TV before. <laughs> Are you? Did you ever do a do happen to be acting in a video that happened to got a lot of traction to it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, do you got an idea which one I'm talking about here? Uh, Probably the real awakening. Hmm. Probably the real awakening. Mm hmm. You was on that. He do it different. You was on that, and I didn't see that. <laughs> Reloaded. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what? I may be tweaking. Maybe I might confuse you with someone else. But was you in a rapper's music video before? Yeah. Oh, you was. Yeah. Music video. I know exactly. What you're talking I, about. I think I know what he's talking about. You know what I'm talking about now? I think I know oh. what you're talking about. I know no. what he's talking about. Fuck. Yeah, he's talking about take. Yeah! See, I want to make sure I didn't want to just say that because I ain't know about tweaking or not. Oh, yeah. well, I knew I'd see you somewhere. I, I knew it was finished. Yeah, I, but, just, I just caught on. But sure, yeah. but sure. But uh, damn, folks, you really get that. How, first <laughs> off, what, out of all the actors Tate could have chosen, what made him choose you? I don't know. That, that's, my, that's, my, that's my blood, though, but. Blood as in. Uh, we found him. Oh, like y'all blood related? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> See, I ain't, I ain't even catch on. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. He just, he just called me, and I wasn't doing nothing, so he, he picked me up, and we did. Mm. So you didn't even know you was gonna be in that shit. Yeah, good. We, I don't know what we was doing. He just called my phone. It could, I need you for a video. Shit, that shit. Look that shit like you knew what was going on, scripted and everything. Yeah. And, and he picked the perfect too, perfect person too, because back in the day he was at dreads. Look at you, dread it up. <laughs> but but overall, you would say that was a great experience, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that was a good video. 
For sure. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? You ain't do your research. Oh, damn. I'm, 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 it's a technical foul right there, huh? Yeah. What's yeah, up, Gino? You know, catch me up. What, what I'm missing out on? I was in the Polo G video. Oh, is that three years ago? Three, like, four years Wait a minute, I probably, I, wait, 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 I probably seen that video, because I was on Polo G ass back then. This yeah. was 2019 or 2020? Like, 2019. 2019. Yeah, the 2019. Let me try to guess it. Let me try to guess it. Let me guess it. Let's see. This nigga had one. Shit. Okay, 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 random guess here. Was you in Netflix? Yeah. Oh, you was? Yeah. So you was that nigga having your hand on that mic? <laughs> Damn, folks. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Don't want him that jail cell. What, what, what you doing, folks? What, what got you in there? Uh, uh, I don't, my pops. My pops knew some people. They called me one day. It was like, we. it was the year before, it was the summer before my freshman year. And my pops knew some people. They like, we had went to this little summer school thing. For the freshmen, before they get enrolled in school, after that, my pops called me, he was like, Polo G might need you for a video. They might fly you out if you do good. Mm. But I, I, as soon as I walked up, I, I went to the park, Ellis Park. As soon as I walked up, Locker had, he, he had, uh, he got my number. Locker Films? Yeah, Locker Films. He got my number. Then he was like, we gonna fly you out. Mm. And then, for the rest of the video, he was like, I just need you to be the little, the little kid, Polo G. We gonna fly you out. We gonna make sure you good. All that. And then... I lock, we locked it in. Did, did the video. Alright. So it seems like we got some young actors here. Y'all did any other, anything else? Uh, not other than really The Reawakening. Yeah, oh, yeah, I was about to say. Uh, you want to talk about that, Chop? Yeah, we can. I bet. What's up with that? Uh, I don't much, man. Nah. Oh, I, I ain't on it no more. I don't know oh. who we playing it no more, but... I used to be a main character in that. Mm. So, for those who may not know, can you describe your character? Like, on the show, of course? Yeah, I know. Uh, I was. Uh, dang. What I was, man? He was you, like, you, he was a shorty, but he had a big role. He was he was a shorty. He just, mm. but he was, he, he won the shorty. But in the streets, he won no shorty. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All y'all was Yeah, we was all uh, yeah, was on. All right, bet. That's what's up. All for one and one for all, you know? Uh -huh. But uh, when it comes down to shows, they often give roles for the people. For, they often give roles to their stars so that way it can match who these people are in real life. So as far as as far as these shows, would you say that they put the perfect role for you that describes you as a person as well? Or just acting? It's just acting. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Alright. With that being said though, y'all wouldn't mind doing any other acting show acting shows for anything else, right? No, no. I don't know. Alright, bet cool, cool, cool. Now, I think I know another talent that you got, Chuck. It's probably the same thing I'm doing now. You know how to work a camera? You see you record us a lot, don't you? Mm, Chuck visuals, right? Yeah. Ah, hey, uh, you and that's my pop. <laughs> oh, oh that's right. a different chop right there. Okay. I thought you were talking about we've been catching up. Oh, okay. I thought, see, it sounded like it was you for a second, though. Uh -uh. Well, yeah, though. So, from the sound of it, y'all family are real deep as far as y'all music life, right? And y'all careers yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yes. You know, a lot of people be trying to tell me how they don't got that much support from their family. But y'all got great support. Yeah. So... How does it feel to have, like, you know, first off, let me, some, let me put this out there. When people people be saying that they don't got that support from the family to to have, like, a good origin story. They make it yeah, sound like people should feel people sad for them about that, that shit. Like that. Yeah, so. Make it but like that. Know, like my people support for real life. Yeah. But, so if you let your people know what's going on, then I feel like they, they'll support you 100%. It's yeah. a lot of people that, yeah. just, that just be wanting to be independent and then. Just to say they ain't had nobody. And I'm glad you say that, because it's like, it's okay to have support from the yeah. family, right? Yeah. Because some people are really trying to say that having no support from the family can make you a person who deserves this shit more. I want as much support as I can get. 
Mm, bro. It sure. depends on what you mean by support. If you choose oh, yeah. not to get support, then that just on you. Like you right? How like, you? Yeah, like, how like, you? Okay. Oh, the way out. The way. The way. Like support isn't like them helping you. Like as far as the fans, stuff, so the fans so like should fans be paying attention to. Music. Yeah, fans should rock with you, you as a person. Your support music. Like, yeah. Yeah. I want to make it. Yeah, no you, should, support. you should want support. Like you should want people to like your music and want them. Yeah. So like you rock or you one of their favorite rappers, you should want nobody to be like. You ain't got nothing. You feel yeah, bad. yeah, you yeah. Feel bad for Want you. somebody feel, like feel bad for you? No, man. Yeah. You ain't looking for no sympathy. Yeah, for sure. Over, overall, though, uh, since we got, since we got the big, since you got support from the fans, there any special shoutouts or any special remarks you would like to leave for them when they watch this interview? Just shout out to all, oh, everybody bro. that support us. We mm -hmm. love y'all. Y'all already know you. Yeah, for sure. That's it. Y'all already know you. Yeah. Who's your favorite cousin? Oh, no, 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 no. No. Hey, hey, some families got favorite cousins and shit nowadays, so I just had to ask that, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next question. And this is the next segment, actually. So, y'all smoke a little weed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you say a lot or a little? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> hey, y'all smoke weed too. It's, it's okay yeah, if we 18 okay. and 16 smoking weed yeah. and shit, right? Yeah. He, he, Hey, as long as they, they got money in their pocket to support their habit, they good. As long oh, as they have Yeah. You say you got a habit of smoking? Yeah. Mm. And it's yeah, a healthy habit, habit, right? Oh, it's a healthy habit. I don't got no habit because I know how to go without weed. Like me, I yeah. don't even really bad weed. Man. All man, right, weed. all right. Like, I, I don't got no habit. I don't really bad weed unless folks tell me. Oh, oh, oh sure so. to God, man. Look here. He <laughs> kept. <Yeah>. I'm lying. <laughs> nah, he don't. He ain't gonna laugh. Me and folks really can go without weed. Oh, gee, car, it'd be dead. I'd be in the crib. We'd be just in a. Everybody else be let's get happy. I don't want to get happy. Hey, Dredge, what you say? I say yeah. I'm eating right now. Oh, chop, chop, uh, eating right now, but he definitely be smoking like a chili over there, right? My life. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think you got a habit? You got a habit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is an unhealthy habit. Proud. No, I have. I have. No, I, I was about to say, like, people, proud. a lot of people who don't want to admit they have habits proud. is usually unhealthy. Proud, healthy, young junkies. P-H-Y-G But alright though Let's get to the segment here And do it hit different Shout out J-Man Now The reason why I ask if y'all smoke Cause you know Some people try to make it seem like smoking is bad But the way I see it Smoking can bring happiness Like you just said right It so, depends on like What you wanna do If you wanna do drugs and get high And that make you feel no. I really don't think you should take drugs for uh, Oh, not drugs, drugs, just right. weed. We should still be talking about yeah, weed. Weed, you should. Weed, we, we, don't we, know. Ain't, we ain't promoting yeah, nothing. Smoke it we ain't feel now, but I don't think that you should get too dependent on it. All right. But with that being said, any one of y'all got a funny story y'all can tell us from the first time y'all smoked weed? Or any time that y'all smoked some weed? Hey, I got to tell you why I feel lazy. <laughs> I said, God. <laughs> hey, Cash Beer told us a story about how she felt like she got laced yeah, by military I like I men. I got laced. I don't know how. I was tweaking. We was smoking one day in the house. <laughs> I said, God. We all smoke. We smoke like three woods or something. Like three, four woods. This back when I was first started smoking. Oh, God. I got over high. Room just got to feel like I, everything was moving slow, boy. I swear <laughs> to God. Everything was moving slow. I go to the bathroom. I slap water on my face. Everything. <laughs> yeah. I go back in the living room, I pick up my phone, it feel like my hands is moving so slow, folks, so I, I called it a night, I went to sleep. <laughs> no, me, I can not go to sleep. I used to, I used to so-called call myself get high with my big cousin, but I ain't never actually, you know, get high. There's one day I'm in my auntie crib, which is me and my brother, you know, my little cousin, you know. We smoking. Like, this is my first time ever actually getting high, though, like, I inhaled the blood at this time, like, you know. Yeah. I mean, I tweet if I go get a, I go to get some drink. I'm just stuck pouring a pouring a pop in the cup like it's overflowing. Like they had to come in there and tell me to stop pouring. A, you know, Damn. I'm tweaking. I try to go lay down on the bed. It's like I close my eyes. It's still for like everything he's spinning though. Like I couldn't even go to sleep. That's how I felt. Oh God. <laughs> Got one chop. Yeah. It was me and him and my. You were faster. Yeah, we was at our cousin's house. <laughs> <laughs> we was smoking with Raya, and then our, our auntie was in the front. So we we had to like 
close the door and make sure she don't see us. I mean, and hear nothing about it. So we like, so we end up smoking. So once, once I heard my auntie coming out in the room, I played it off while, while we had to, while I passed the blunt to back to my cousin. Oh, uh, funnel I know what he's talking. He explaining it stupid, but <laughs> <laughs> I remember when he was smoking. He was in a room. Me in a room smoking. And she was walking in again. She walking in a room, and being in the middle of her walking in the room, I switched and tried to act like she was blowing the smoke. Well, he my basically face just threw the wood. <laughs> he basically threw the wood. It was close. I gave her. I gave her the wood. I gave her the wood. And then I, I'm acting, to, I'm acting like to my auntie. I'm like, yeah, she in here getting smoke in her face, big coughing out. <laughs> oh, photo, I remember that. That was crazy. Oh God, for I was acting. That was crazy. That was the funniest. That was the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, different. We heard three different stories in one day. Yeah, different. Yeah, those, 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 good, those uh, are good stories though. Uh, that was your first time too. Nah, that was my first. Nah, my first time smoking. I don't remember my first yeah, first time smoking. I don't remember my, my first. The story I got is when like it was me, you, and Abraham folk, and we was down. Lincoln. The, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> nah, one of our people, and we was down in the bathroom for we got smoke like eight woods. Real was here too. Eight like, woods. Real was with us too, folk. And then after I got high, uh -huh. was just. My chest was like, I couldn't breathe for long. Just, I had to take my shirt off, lay on the floor. I'm eating the cereal with the oh, box yeah, next to me. I'm just dropping all the cereal on the floor. Everybody can have floor. You, don't, you know, eat laying down with the whole thing of cereal next to him. I'm just fried. Can't breathe trying to eat cereal because I feel like it was helping me. It wasn't helping me. I had to stop eating. It's like it was just flooding. Fun on I couldn't breathe. <laughs> chest was hurting. Heart thumping. <laughs> Yeah, I remember my first, my first time smoking weed. That shit was a good-ass day. What was your first time smoking weed? See, when I... Oh, my... Oh, my... Okay. See, when I was smoking weed, I didn't even do this shit right. I'm thinking you just... But whole time, you supposed to inhale that mm -hmm. shit. So, for... I spent three days trying to learn how to do this shit. Like, that... <laughs> like, first off, I tried... How much money you spent? Hmm? How much money you spent? It has the crazy part. I paper. Is, that's the probably thing. I mean, the crazy thing. I ain't even spend no money on this shit. My homie's the one buying all this weed for me trying to teach me how to smoke it, but I'm not even doing this shit with him. They said, they told me. He just getting high. You just. Yeah, and I'm, yeah. I, mean, I even try to learn how to roll. You they, to, so you used to fake high? I, I ain't gonna lie, they front the door. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't even high for it. He just oh, acting like he bragged. Yeah. So, so, so to act like I was, I was on that shit, like I also got drunk too to save myself a little uh, bit. But yeah. that ain't high shit. <laughs> they, they could tell. They could. I mean, you might smell like weed, but yeah. come on. But we can tell what high you know what But then my fourth day trying that shit, I, I finally got it down pat, and I felt so cold. But then I felt hot. It's like my body temperature rising and shit. Then I almost ran into a car. Like I was running yeah. up on the car while it was driving, type shit, thinking I could jump over it. But no. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 he swerved and shit. And we almost got into it. I ain't gonna lie. Now yeah. the old weed back then. It used to, I don't know who was selling, yeah, but it used to be like, 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 press, like I, a game. I was like, why we so, yeah, I, 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 one time I felt like I was laced for like a whole week. I thought I was high for like a whole week. Yeah. Every day I wake up, I'm high on my ass. I didn't know if I was high or not. I lost my phone in the couch for like three days. And the, and, the, and the crazy part is, I still can't tell the difference with weed sometimes. Like, sometimes I don't know what's Zara, sometimes I don't know what's OG, right? all that shit. But know. that's a different story for a different day. But overall, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, we, you gotta oh. know your strength. You gotta hey, know if they hey, tell you that. Hey, Delta. somebody gotta help you me out. They tell you that Delta. Delta. You can't Delta. Delta. We yeah, not smoking Delta. Delta. You don't want that Delta, that spirit. We need line. first class. We right. need to get high. Man, we need some first class over here, you know? You come around us with that Delta. And you roll it up and put it in a row, your wood will get stumped on. <laughs> we, we can taste the difference with that. Oh, you God, know? we know the difference. We, we gonna know, know how that Delta is. Throw it in Delta. Delta. my shit on it. <laughs> yeah, anything with it, because they don't care about it that much. Man, you pass me some Delta and I hit it and I see a Delta, I'm just going to give your wood right back. Oh, God, huh? <laughs> you can have your wood, but. What am I dropping in your face? <laughs> oh, do y'all drop y'all woods, my by bad. the way? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, but, but with that being I said, ain't no initial tag on that. I don't no, care. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm about to ask y'all. Y'all, 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 or y'all out here being free? Huh? Y'all cuff or y'all out here being free? Huh? 
Oh, it, it, it's different. What's your own, fess up? Uh, uh, so y'all got nothing to worry about. We all, we rappers. <laughs> y'all got nothing to worry about. We all drop y'all wood, right? No. Yeah, you just chilling. It was just an accident. Yeah, it's just a technical bad. You feel me? Technical you gotta just that's do just better next time. About when you drop your wood. Oh, so you don't believe that shit? No, I don't believe that. All right, so that's like when people that's like, just like when you walk behind the pole wood. or you walk under. That's uh, just like that's just like him trying to pass me. That's superstition. Like him trying to pass me in the wood, but he thinking I'm touching it already. I just <laughs> let it go and it drop. That's an accident. That's ain't no. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, that's just like that's like you know. Uh, it ain't got nothing to do with nothing, uh, bro. That, all right. drop, not the universe making. You feel me? I was just gonna say something like that. Well, unlike y'all, I got some shit to worry about, so I ain't dropping it. Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> he is Folks, he, he got something to wood. worry about. Hey, hey, one of these days. He grab your wood gloves he on. Gripping his wood. Gloves is crazy. Gloves, he gloves using bell hand. <laughs> gripping. So oh, I'm gonna feel that shit. <laughs> Y'all, I make no mistake. <laughs> you be smoking your ducks till it burn your fingers? Hmm? You be smoking your ducks till it burn your fingers? You be getting your money worth? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna I, 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 I ain't, I ain't go, I ain't go lie. I still, I still need to learn how to roll the wood. Like you don't know how to roll wood? Bro, I asked everybody to try and teach me how to do this shit, and no one wants to give me a try. You don't know how to roll wood. You know how to roll wood. No one wants to teach me how. Why y'all got? Nah, I mean, not, not got even, not even my, we ain't got no more. We ain't got no more. Man, but we gonna talk about that later though. Yeah. I appreciate y'all if y'all willing to though. All right, next segment here, and this is a se I, I skip a segment for y'all. We gonna do that for part two if we have an inter if you have another interview if y'all don't mind, of course. Okay. But all right, this segment here is a segment that everybody loves to talk about, especially certain people. But this question applies to everybody, regardless of where you're at, and even if you're someone who doesn't have anything doing anything, it applies to you. Mm -hmm. In this segment, I like to call the black ball theory. Now, do y'all believe that black balling is real? Yes or no? Yeah. No. I believe so. I don't believe in black ball. Yeah. You say no, you say you say I no. say yeah, but Oh you say yeah? And you say yeah? Now what about you, Chop? I say yeah. Okay, three of three to one saying yeah. So as far as you, why you don't think it's real? I really don't think you can get black ball. Like mm. uh, if you working, you put that work in, it's gonna it's gonna pay off one day. That's how I feel. I think it is real. Alright, man. I think it's real. Alright, I'll come it's back. I'll come back to the ones that's real because I got specific questions for y'all. And I but I got some specific for you too. Right. Since you say it's not real, mm -hmm. and, you, and clearly you, you, you broke down why it's not real. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who like to say that they're blackballed. Yeah. But some people feel like that shit is an excuse. And since you're one of those people who says no, do you have an idea of who's making excuses on being blackballed? No, I don't get no other people business. Alright, bet. <laughs> Well, for these people that do feel like they're blackballed, what would it take for them to not feel like they're blackballed? Because you saying it's really not... Stop feeling like you blackballed. Go put that work in. So just simply put in work and you'll stop feeling this way. Yeah. All right. Now, for our other three who believe this shit is real, first off, why do y'all think it's real? Because, like, social media got a big... Like, it's a big uh, platform, and they got, like, a lot of control, for real, for real. Like, it ain't about one person having control, it's about everybody being with each other. So, when you get everybody feeling like, oh, yeah, we don't fuck around, then you done. Because who gonna you. listen to it's, you? It's who gonna play your yeah. music if you saying F all your fans and ooh, this, that, and the third? Mm. And it's, it's, actually, like, it's that end, it's, it's like certain rappers mess with it. Certain rappers more than the other ones type of stuff, so... Same mm -hmm. as they get into it, you gonna rock with that one more. Yeah, yeah. so it's everybody like, gonna rock with that one more because everybody mess with him more. It so really be like, more of a you, thing or who you is. Like, now the dude call himself Black Ball, he'll try to get a feature on one of the ones who mess with dude more, and they most likely gonna tell him no because they, they rock with dude. Mm. Yeah. Really, back, Black Ball is like another another name for uh, having a bad name in the industry. Mm. You just got a bad name for real, for real. You ain't black boy. You just got a bad yeah, name. You, your name bad. Then with that being said, who is being black ball? We don't get them people bad. Oh. Anybody, but anybody, anybody who in the rap and they ain't like, got no videos that's at five hundred thousand or stuff like that. They not black ball. You just not working hard enough. 
Mm. You just expect you know, yeah, yeah, you gotta, you people be ex like expecting they so just to they think it's blow, overnight. They think it's, yeah, it ain't overnight. We gotta keep putting that work in until it happens. All you right. Keep. Then with that being said, y'all since you since y'all say y'all don't get into other people's business, y'all don't even know who's doing the black bond, don't y'all? No, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. All right, bet. Then. Let's say there is someone who is doing it, and even though y'all don't know, I know like labels blackball and stuff like that type of stuff. You feel me? Yeah, that, you want? You want? Labels blackball. All right, bet. So do you want me to tell you what another rapper told me about labels? Yeah. They said if you this person is KJ the God, by the way. He said the labels will personally tell you if you're from Chicago and you're blowing up, we're gonna ask the biggest artists what do y'all feel about us working with them, and. He said the artist that they will specifically ask you about is Lil Durk. I'm not, I don't look for other people's recognition. Mmm. But that's the thing though, it's like, if somebody who big like that come and ask you like, I mean, ask Dirk like, all right, should I work on him? He dig Let's just say Dirk be like, nah, not us, but like, let's say somebody be like, he be right. like, nah, ooh. You shouldn't be mad about it, that just means build your own thing. Exactly. Right? So then it's to where well, somebody got to come to you and ask you, should they go shoot with somebody? You just build your own thing. Well, you don't want to follow up and have Dirk nobody else I, anyway. Dirk one always as big as he is now. You got you to gotta build that. All right. But overall, though, y'all don't support that black ball and activity or y'all with it? No. Well, enough about that. Time for another segment. And this is one of my favorite segments to talk about because I just love hearing opinions on this shit. Mm -hmm. And since we got some young men this time, it's going it's to hit different. Now. In this segment, I like to call it Rapper Turn Blogger. And we got rappers who also be doing blogging. We got J Main. We got <coughs> King Yellow. We got G Mac. We got 16 Shine Visuals. And what it seems to be, we got Rico Regular. So we got a little wave of rappers who be do, who was doing music for a nice period of time. But nowadays, they're blogging. But that's just them. Will any of y'all become a blogger? No. No. No, no. No and no. So everybody's united in front of this shit. Alright. So, who wants to explain why they wouldn't be a block? Me. I got a lot of other stuff to do I with this. I just gonna say, I don't care about other people's business that much. I don't care to be in other people's business that much. And I don't care to just put my everyday life out there for real. I mean, like, I got everything else to do in the day other than shit in front of the camera and talk about somebody else. I've been sitting in front of the phone and talking about everybody else's life. I'm not gonna be doing something with my life. Mm. I ain't gonna know what to talk about with you. I'm gonna you. Alright. We ain't gonna know what to talk about. We ain't never did it before. We gonna just be saying anything. Alright. Now let's put you in a hypo hypothetical situation here. All you guys rap. And separately, you guys rap. Y'all make 25K. Together, y'all make 100K in total off rap. Now let's say you guys start blogging all of a sudden. Y'all separately blogging gets your 50K. Together, I'm doing that it. makes. Hmm? I'm doing it. Yeah. Oh, so you would do it if it involves money? Yeah. That money ain't get it done, you know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, there we go. Now we're getting something different. So you wouldn't blog for free on your own personal time no. thinking no, about that ain't shit. Nothing, that ain't, that ain't something I love to what do. Is, what is doing for me? Like, you right? have to pay attention to that. You exactly. Why is I'm putting you up pick, now, time in order to blog, you got to pick up your phone. And Wait, you said vlog or blog? I mean blog. Whatever it is. Yeah. In order to do it, it's like now you gotta pick up your phone. It's not even that. It's like, about the topic. It's like blogging ain't something I wanna do in my head. Exactly. Like, like if I ain't getting paid for it, I wanna do it. But rapping, okay, like, okay, okay. rapping, I'll still rap even if I would even if I ain't get paid for it. Alright. Now I was gonna say you can rap and blog, cause mm -hmm. twenty twenty five K together, one hundred K, fifty K together, two hundred K together. Put rap and blog together, three hundred K. So y'all definitely do it for the money, but that's just my hypothetical situation. Since you would do it only if you're getting paid, how much would it take for you to start blogging? Uh -huh. Or any time in life? Uh, it can't be one. We month. gotta see when that day comes. Yeah, this is something I have to think on. We gotta know. see when that day comes, man. Okay. okay. Right now we focus on rap. We can know really a lot of numbers rap. that can be set. Exactly. Good and worth it, but. Right. But me blogging, I'm not going to but if I'm blogging, I'm not going to be blogging about my own city. Like why I'm blogging oh, about so you're talking about other cities like, too. Yeah, I'm, fin I'm not going to be talking about I'm everything. And, 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 and that's going to be my next question. 
Is there any limits to what you will blog about? I think mean, if you like the same way how we tell people, if you're not from Chicago, stay out of Chicago. Then mm-hmm. if you're not from the other cities, stay out there. Then. Um, so for you, you will only blog about business that you know about in your city. I'm going to be in a business, but I ain't going to be to keep the topic born, keep it on Chicago. Okay. So right. Chicago's the only city that's worth blogging about. Yeah, for money. Like, for money, yeah, I'll do it and get a few. Yeah. It'll be like, I won't really get in a business, but I'll just focus on like the topics. Okay. That's yeah, already out there. That's like public. Like that you don't really got to do no research to find out about. Like, it's already okay. Yeah. All right, bet. Yeah, Alright, but overall though, people somehow make it seem like a rapper being a blogger is a real weird ass nigga. But they're just doing it for what you're saying, which is the money. So would you, so overall, you would say it's okay to be a blogger, right? Yeah. And a rapper at the same time, if you want to. If that's what you want to do, if that's what's making you your money. You just make it match up and line up. Exactly. Alright. That being said, YFG will only blog if they're being paid to do it. Yep. And they're not worried about no other city business except Chicago because that's where they're solely from. And if, yeah, if it's regularly, yeah, we get paid, 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 paid to do it. If we get paid to do it, that's what I'm saying. If I'm getting paid to, to vlog, <laughs> gonna do vlog about another city, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Whatever, rocking the money, we're going to do it to bring it in. So if it's real about another city, we're going to do it about the next city. city. All right, bet. All right, let's move on real quick. And this is a segment that I like to call, this is a personal segment. This is a health check segment. Now, in regards to me, I'm a blogger but from a, from two dollars of the internet. And one thing they always say, you only care about the bullshit. You don't promote X, Y, Z. Well, the thing is, I do. I put positive shit all the time. But the thing is, if I'm gonna be posting positive shit, y'all gotta pay attention to this just as much as the controversial shit. I was just gonna say, the bad stuff gonna catch people where I am more anyway though. Cause that's what they people and, they, and that's some shit I had to tell a lot of motherfuckers, and then they had to look at it like, damn, you right. But it's like they don't get it because they're not bloggers, though. Yeah, but we, that's we understand that as rappers that yeah, the bro. bad stuff are, that's what attract people up. Yeah, and, but the thing is with me though, it's like they only see this because of past bloggers before. I'm a nigga just like y'all. Like you mm-hmm. see, I'm from Chicago. You gotta I do what you gotta do, really. That's exactly. it. Yeah, like, they, they, they can't they can't tell that. you how to run your business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I I heavily agree on that part. But, but the overall point is, there's a lot of shit I go through behind shit. I'm a nigga like y'all. Mm-hmm. Mentally, I'm fucked up. Mm-hmm. I deal with shit life all the time. It's a lot I go through that I don't tell about, but because I'm too busy putting y'all out there, yeah. y- y'all and everyone else, they don't think I care or give a fuck about the world at all. But it's a lot to me. But I got I got a thankless job, so I had to live with that shit. But that's just yeah. me. One thing I know is if I'm going to be posting about y'all, I got to keep in mind that y'all go through shit too. Y'all humans. There's a lot that y'all go through that y'all probably don't talk about unless it's on the internet. So that's why for this health check segment, just tell me what, how y'all doing mentally, folks. We decent. We in a decent yeah, spot yeah. right now. We, yeah. we, we focused. Yeah. That's where we at right yeah, now. We focused. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh-huh. We focused. I wouldn't even say nobody like... We ain't, ain't, ain't nobody in no bad spot right now. Ain't nobody... Damn, we all got everybody trying to yeah, achieve something. Yeah, we, we ain't got no time to be sitting around. Right, we ain't got time to be be around and our sad feelings. and being our feelings. You only in your feelings, like you people be in their feelings when, when they be. It be like it depends on which one your feelings about. Like if you and your feelings about some little stuff, but you dragging it to make yourself feel over depressed about nothing, and you just waste your time. I can't but tell people nobody actually be going through stuff. Yeah, so I just can say that I can't tell I'm nobody. Funny, how you got the people that problems. actually go through stuff. But and they be having a reason to feel how they feel, but then you got the other people who just do it for but attention. It, yeah, it's a lot of people that, that do, like, be dragging their problems. Mm-hmm. Well, you could just... Oh, well, just be for attention. I I feel, well, that's my opinion. Just for attention. But me personally, yeah. I'm just chasing right now. I don't, we focus right now. Yeah, we I'm in the mode. So we I'm in the mode. I'm in the grinding mode. I don't need it. So, we all in grinding mode. So overall, y'all are doing good, man. So y'all ain't going through no shit. Yeah, yeah we I'm all chill. Sure. All right, y'all eighteen and shit, yeah. and some of y'all sixteen. So y'all would say y'all are part of the youth, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. However, we still got at least a handful of generation of kids that's a little bit younger than y'all. So let's say these kids know who y'all is, they'll be like, "Oh shit, it's YFG!" Mm-hmm. Damn, 
now. This is one of my favorite group of rappers right now, man. I'll fuck with y'all heavy. I want to grow up, grow up, be just like y'all. I want to be rapping. I want to be living that lifestyle. I want to do X, Y, Z. But keep in mind, these are kids, bro. Yeah. These niggas are in elementary school. Wait, y'all niggas in high school, right? No, yeah. we just graduated, man. Oh, y'all graduated? Congra so look, come on, blow that. That's some good shit. A lot of niggas can't graduate nowadays. But uh, yeah, though, we got the youth looking up to y'all. And y'all dating y'all part of you too. But the problem is they haven't grown up the way y'all grown up. So y'all don't know what the fuck y'all got going on. They don't know what y'all got going on. They just see what y'all put out there. So if you were to see the youth right now, they tell you all that shit. What's your message to the youth? My message to the youth is be you. Chase your dreams. Be mm -hmm. you. Don't, don't be me. Don't, don't exactly, be you. Don't be nobody else. Be you. I don't say that to Chase you. Chase your dreams 100%. Can, like, you can want to rap. Like, you, you can want to rap like influence. me. Like, I could be the person who influenced you to rap or something, but don't do, like, exactly what we Trying to live somebody else like trying, trying to no, make your stuff up. Music wise, else. like, when it comes to, you if you want to, if they looking up to us on some, oh, I want to be like, I want I want to be popping like y'all and have the views y'all be having stuff like that. If that's what you want to do or you want to be a rapper, go ahead. But, like, Everything that ain't got nothing to do with music that's on like the outside right. of the camera. Uh, lifestyle. I feel like don't be me on the lifestyle side. Just be yourself. Like, you know, you ain't gotta try to follow up behind me. But if you wanna be like us on some the views and how everybody always come at us or we you know, like just the, the name we got and the look we got, then go ahead. It's something that we it's something that you're supposed to chase. You wanna yeah. You're supposed to want to walk around and be known and everybody to be like, ah, oh, that go, you know, mm -hmm. the song's popping so, to the right. You're supposed I to be that. Yeah, that should feel good. With that being said, if you was to happen to see the younger version of yourself, like literally, you, let's just say you were able to see the younger version of yourself standing in front of you, you would tell them that same message? Mm -mm. I tell oh, myself, you don't be so hard here. Oh. I wish I'm going to tell me everything that I know, man. Yeah, the everything. I just tell myself like, cause then it's like you might prepare yourself too early. For I was just finna so say you might, you might, it might go different. We, so we, we, I wouldn't really we change nothing that happened, cause everything yeah. happened for a reason, and it made me who I am. So it's just like, but I would tell myself like, just listen more and focus and like, watch more than talking, cause when you watch, you learn more. Oh God, when you don't say nothing, you just sit back and watch. You will learn a lot. Just stay out the way, answer. Watch more than, listen more than talk. And y'all think it's a way to make the youth listen to this advice, or they have to just learn on their own? They, it's a, they it's gotta a learn want to. Yeah, it's a learning process. Everything is a learning process. It's about one. It's a, a lot of people. Like, a lot of people learn the hard way. A lot of people yeah. learn the easy way. From all right, and it, the easy people. I mean, the easy way be don't be the people who be like they want to do it. They want to try something yeah. different. But the other people they be the rebellious they, and the yeah, just gonna say hard head people. Yeah, they hard head. But yeah. I mean, everybody don't, you know. Everybody got their hard head moments though. I'm fine. All right. Now, moving away to the last few segments here. This segment. I like to call it give credit where it's due. Now, let's mm -hmm. sit. Now, even though y'all don't get into other people's business, which we're still not going to talk about their business, yeah. we still got people who may, rappers, however, who may know a little something about you. Uh -huh. The thing is, they might not speak on y'all because they don't know how y'all feel about them. Yeah. So it's like, why not we just show, and we're pushing peace out here, yeah. let's, just, let's just promote some positivity. So with that being said, I'm going to ask y'all about just a handful of rappers and just say one thing positive about them, if you can. Alright. Alright. First rapper, Chief Keef. He really, yeah, really. He started to drill. He started to drill. He drill. He drill. He drill. He drill. He drill. He a rap icon, so really Keith just he and for Chicago Keith, he man. about as big as it get. Yeah, yeah. different thing. Yeah. Like, it don't get bigger than he Keith. Put a, he put but about Kanye, it don't get bigger than Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Fives, this generation though, game. Okay, like, there you go. Kanye, yeah. Kanye not like he like I don't know. No, bro. from up from when Keith started. Yeah, that's up us. To somebody else that come from Chicago and do better than him. It don't get bigger than Kanye. Kanye not my generation. I don't, I don't listen oh, to who Kanye was. Mm. You're different. Next one. Mm. Tay Savage. I don't know nothing about him. Really Just say something positive about him if say you can. Something I see that he get out. He got out. He pushed the piece. That's all. I, that's cool. Get yeah. out. He got out. Drop yeah. yeah, for sure. Skin bone. He, he comedian. He, 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 he consistent. He living. He doing everything. He doing what he supposed to be doing right now. 
Yeah, as he should, as he should. Yeah, but I'm funny. <laughs> Don't worry, supposed to be done. He definitely be funny. Blazing dog. Mm, she rough. She a rough. Yep. Is that? Is she? She? I, I guess she drunk with me. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> nah, she decent though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I can agree. Mellow Bucks. She hard. She decent too. She hard. Oh, she hard. Yeah, she got it. All right, back. Rico Reckless. No, I, really, I, really, I really don't know what part he like. He played like. I, I thought he was a rapper. He is a rapper. If I don't really listen to his music. No, 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 like, just say something positive about it. You don't got to talk about he, anything you do. Just he doing a, he doing a good he, job yeah, he at put, maintaining. Yeah, he pushing people with nah, he doing a, he doing a good job at maintaining. He, yeah, he, after all the years, he keep doing a good job at making a living. Yeah, like, after everything, after all the years, you would probably think Rico Rex would be like all the other niggas who be eating dead or in jail. Or they be in jail or something. He's actually doing good and staying out of jail. You know, keep something going for us. All right, bad, bad. All right, and that's a nice little list like there. Last but not least, this is a segment before we close this shit. Let's just close this out. Now, this segment, this is something that pertains to me. Now, I call it the Chicago Way Feedback. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes down to the Chicago Way, I often do hear from time to time that my buddies will fuck with me. But I'm like, I'm just a nigga. I ain't shit. And then they be trying to tell me, no, nah, for you not realize how important your platform is to Chicago, mm -hmm. like this shit. Put a lot of niggas on, like you be helping niggas and shit. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, but I ain't, I ain't shit behind this. I'm just a nigga. Nah, bro, you bigger than that. You put, you, you, you got labels watching certain niggas. You got niggas, they careers, they, they never got their recognition until you put them on. Some people said you a celebrity if you get posted on Chicago Wave, but some people said unless you been posted on the Chicago Wave, you ain't known in Chicago. And I'm like, damn, it ain't never that deep. But if that's what y'all say, I appreciate it. <laughs> but this is just from the followers. As far as you guys, though, why do y'all support the Chicago Way? Because y'all didn't have to do this interview. Y'all could have said, fuck me, don't pull up, pull up, check, get your camera snapped, all type of shit. But y'all decided I'm interview y'all. Why? Well, well, we mess with you. Uh, yeah, it is like, like I'm from the man, and it kind of is like, you been I mean, the page with us too. do matter in Iraq, though. That's like an update for yeah, everybody in Iraq. Yeah, the page do matter. So that's like legal health firm or Squid 8. Like, that's like how pages matter in Chicago. Mm. You gotta know what's going on. That's exactly. Like, you tell you telling the world what's going on. That's like knowing what's going on, but I have to follow everybody. So you ain't gotta go follow. Exactly. 10, you ain't gotta follow, follow ten people. Just you can follow, follow one you. page, or well, everything ain't gonna be it. So it's like you can just it's follow like you your and daily see everything if you want to. You know, if you want to call it that, it's like a daily update for the people who don't know what's going on mm. in the rec. It's just a little update for real. Another rapper once told us that this page is like the Chicago newspaper. So yeah, yeah it's like, like the it's like the news for Chicago. Exactly. Mm. Like the Chicago Twitter page, but I just, you know, kind of, everybody gonna pay attention, everybody in the rack. Mm. Alright, with that being said, what's one thing you like about the page? Yeah. One thing I like. One thing you like? Uh, you don't put anybody up there. Mm. Like you, like don't get me wrong, it do be some people up there that be like, we what probably know personally about them, but they have a different image of like to everybody else. So it be mm. it, that's that's how the post that's how it's gonna be. But like, I don't really be seeing no unknown just goofies on your page. Like I be seeing some unknown people because I don't really spend parents to everybody, so I don't be knowing a lot of people. They be knowing me more than I know them. Mm. But it be like you don't just be having anybody up there. Though. Mm. No phone, and I don't like you don't be. And everybody being this for real, high. like no jumping and stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you. Like, literally. <laughs> a lot of people. I see that you just post people, you promote people, you don't be promote, in people business trying to post, be in gang wars and stuff. Yeah, like, you don't be on no weirdo, like, no weirdo trying to get somebody to fake telling themselves on your page. Exactly. Like, right. You know, like, you I, get people to, like, you, you get, get them the space. You get them the option. You get them the space to feel comfortable. Yeah, you get them the option they to want talk about what you want to talk about. Yeah, for sure. Like, I be trying to tell people that I'm not really into no police activities. Like, I'm from the city too. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna be asking y'all questions I wouldn't want a nigga asking me. And on mm -hmm. top of that, I don't even I don't even condone the snitching. Like, I'm not gonna tell nobody to snitch on nobody or snitch on yourselves. Okay. So, yeah. and that's why I be asking motherfuckers, what do you want to talk about before interviews? And I be telling motherfuckers, you don't gotta say too much. If, they, if you do that, that's on you though. But that's just. But alright. 
Now, now for the next one. What's one thing you don't like about the page? And you don't gotta be keeping it sugar coated because I'm in front of y'all. Be as honest as you can. This is just feedback. I ain't got nothing bad to say. I ain't got nothing bad to say. Hmm. I ain't got nothing bad to say about your page. So everybody don't got nothing. I see that you be posting us in or post somebody and then you'll post something right after it. I'll be feeling like you can let the, the uh, Yeah, you gotta the Yeah, that's right, what that's the only go. thing. Yeah, I'm front of them. I was, that's what I was saying here trying to think. I was trying to think like, what can I say? Mm -hmm. You your posting is like you consistent, but you, you, you don't let real your consistent, like you too consistent. So it's like you mm -hmm. smack one, Not even too you smack another one, you don't let the smack another one. Yeah, you gotta let it breathe. All right, all right. Yeah, you, you, gotta gotta them, you gotta let them, you gotta let them feed on that. Feed off that one post, then you gotta smack it with something else. Yeah, right. gotta be something that grab their ass so they dead. Like it's not 50 50. Like they might be here for him, so, but depending right. on who you rock with. So how long should I wait before posting them up? Like, I ain't gonna lie, cause your page be going up. Your page be going up. 30 minutes. 30 minutes? 30 minutes to an hour type of thing. All right, 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Yeah, and you gotta, it's like, you gotta. And it's like, cause he do got a lot of people coming to him trying to get their stuff posted. So mm, I yeah. say really like 30 minutes. All right, Barry, there we go. Nah, There's I, a lot of people. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta, you gotta let it be up. Me personally, I say let it be up more than that because in 30 minutes to an hour, there's only so many people that's gonna see your stuff. You got people who ain't on their phones, oh, and then when they going down, like your stuff probably at the bottom. Who knows? Mm. But it take a minute to hit everybody's screen. Yeah. Like Sometimes it maybe two around. days or so. so like, like, it, it got to spread, so I be feeling like everybody should get their own look. Mm -hmm. They own look a couple hours. If you gonna, if if it's like paid promotion where they they paying you to pay to post them this day or this day, then get them like a couple hours. But like if it ain't paid hours. and you just on your own, you get them like a day, like a whole other day to they own post to let it really build. Mm. So they got a reason to come back. They want to find something else out. All right. Alright, man, that, that's just some shit. No one's ever told me that shit before, mm -hmm. so I'm really gonna take note of that. Yeah, they really do no, you just you can just watch your numbers when you let your post. Like, you you can just watch your numbers. They it's like a strategy thing, because like, yeah. I stay losing my Instagram, but every time I get back on Instagram, like, within a week, the new page be back busting. Like, yeah, for sure. How it used to be. Is that really how you post? Yeah, it's how you strategize it, though. You gotta. Alright. Well, closing off with that, though. Any shout outs, remarks, comments, or anything you want to get off your chest here? No shout out. Yeah. Free the guys, man. Free the guys. Shout out on the couch. Uh, wrong thing. Cut that out. I'm trying to say shout out Chicago Way. <laughs> shout out Chicago Way. We got to redo that. Free the guys, man. Free shout out Chicago Way, man. All right, for sure, for sure. Cut for out show. on the couch, man. And, the, and, and, the and next time I pull up on y'all, I'll make sure I get y'all one, one of these shirts real quick. Yeah, yeah. we need a Chicago Way shirt. We're going to promote it. I want a hoodie. And I want one of y'all shirts, too. Y'all got a hoodie. Oh, hoodie? Yeah. Oh, hoodie? Yeah. All right, I got y'all. And y'all got some merch, y'all. Y'all got some merch, me. I got that. I was getting the camera right here. Oh, come on, come on, get the camera. Put the brand in the camera. Got to promote the brand right here. That's the brand. And it's most shirts. Oh, y'all already know. It's every flavor. The biggest is the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Y'all see We got crosses. Hate, little guy, all that. Nah, it's the biggest man. Big nah, chalk man. Y'all already know how we coming, man. Uh, the manager of YG. YFG. You know what I'm saying? So, we coming. For sure. Repping the priceless brand, man. Y'all cop that shit, man. That's it. That's all. You know that. For sure. So, that being said, YFG, right, yeah. it's nice meeting y'all, and I'm going to get up with y'all another day. You know that.